Iowa is doing a little bit better than the rest of the country in terms of unemployment. A boom in farming is one reason, but the economy is still a top concern. Rick Santorum campaigned in Newton today and got an earful about the economy. Newton is a town that we know well. We were there for 60 minutes before the congressional election two years ago. In 2010, we found Newton, population 15,000, much like the rest of the country, suffering with a flat recovery. You know, the economists say that the recession's over. Really? They should come to Newton, Iowa. <laughs> that was Dave McNear on 60 Minutes two years ago. He owns a small advertising company, and we met him again this morning. Look around Newton, Iowa, and tell me how things have changed. They're pretty much the same. You know, I mean, people are working harder. People are... Um, you know, pushing, shoving, dragging, pulling to do whatever you can do. Um, the tough thing is, and this happened to me just the other day, I pull into a gas station. Uh, here's a guy that I went to school with working behind the counter of a gas station. I leave the gas station. Here's another guy that I went to school with driving a cab. People are doing what they have to do yeah. to support their families. Absolutely. Why haven't things improved in the last two years? I got to believe it. there's a lot of uncertainty out there. Um, I don't believe that people feel, you know, we see it in our business a lot, um, have a couple of good months or my customers will have a couple of good months and then everything kind of loses steam again. Newton lost steam in 2007 when Maytag closed its factory that employed 5,000. Now this is the Chrysler dealer, the Chevy dealer, the tractor supply. Chaz Allen is the part-time mayor. When we were with you two years ago, it was a midterm election. Mm -hmm. The country sent a new Congress to Washington. What difference has that made to Newton? I don't know that we've seen a big difference. Um, I see we see gridlock. I and the mayor the told us uh, gridlock kills jobs. For example, the new plant that makes wind turbine blades can't plan ahead unless Congress makes decisions about energy tax credits. So your message to Washington is what? Compromise, move forward. Policies that are longer than two months and a year, we need to move forward. Like a lot of people we've been talking to in Iowa, Mayor Allen and Dave McNear told us that even now they haven't decided who they're going to vote for.